Dr. Lauren Schrader was hired as a Youngstown State biology professor in 1968 and went on to start its environmental science program. One of his earliest projects was studying the Mahoning River. Now he's retired and living in Poland, but Dr. Schrader has continued to follow the progress of the river and likes what he sees, calling it truly amazing. There was a path here. I remember a boat launch. At 87, Dr. Lauren Schrader can easily hike down the path to the dock at Youngstown's B&O train station, where 15 minutes earlier, two people had pushed off in their kayaks, headed down the Mahoning River. It is amazing. It is truly amazing what has happened. Um, I would not have expected that to occur, and it has, and I'm just so happy to see it happen. The Mahoning River was once considered one of the most polluted in the United States. Dr. Schrader started studying it before the mills closed. The river had a lot of sediment in it that had contained oil, oils and uh, toxic chemicals. No animals, no fish, and, and only one kind of, uh, of insect that lived in this. And of course now there's, there's fish and there's uh, insects. That was Dr. Schrader almost 30 years ago in 1995, talking with me along the Mahoning, picking up a rock and finding life. There's an egg uh, mass from snails. See? And I thought it would be a very slow process of cleaning that up. And it is a slow process, it's not cleaned up yet, but it's, we're working at it. Dr. Schrader has long said the dams along the Mahoning needed removed, and he's glad the dam removal work and the dredging of the sediment behind them is progressing. Oh, absolutely, yes, yes. He's thrilled the river is being used for recreation, though he would not recommend swimming in it just yet. The water itself is not dangerous, but the sediments probably are. Dr. Schrader says once the dams are removed, he doesn't think it's going to take long to clean up the sediment, maybe 20 years. He says at that point, you may want to go ahead and swim in it. Hi, everyone. I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.